if you're a One Piece fan and you've been following the story up to now, I am pretty sure that you have had dozens and dozens and dozens of theories, assumptions, and speculations that were utterly and completely wrong. It's happened to all of us. Um, there's been dozens of theories on Kaido over the years as to what devil fruit he has, if he's actually human, um, and so on and so forth. While we don't have any confirmation on a lot of the things that we've been speculating over the years, we are getting a little bit closer to finding out the whole truth. At the end of chapter 999, Big Mom reveals that she gave Kaido the fish fish fruit. And as I'm recording this, I do not have the official translations. So if 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 come two, three days time, when the official translation comes out and it's not actually translated as the fish fish fruit, then I'm in big trouble. I prefer really not to um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. And I don't want to be in big trouble. But yeah, so Big Mom um, admits to or reveals to us that she gave Kaido the fish fish fruit. Now this throws a lot of a lot of theories, a lot of fan theories out the window. However, there's a lot of fan theories that have been said over the years that have not picked up that much noise, um, that have not been put in the limelight, that align with this revelation. And one of the, the one of the theories that has been talked about um, in the past has been that Kaido does have the legendary koi fish fruit. In Asian mythology, Chinese mythology to be precise, there is this tale about the school of koi fish that are traveling along a golden river. They come across a waterfall that is upstream and they attempt to leap to the top or swim up it. Now, they attempt to do this for several hundred years, failing at every attempt, which results in some of the koi fish um, to leave. The rest that remain carry on attempting this. Eventually, one koi fish ends up at the top. The gods witness all of this. They applaud the koi fish for its strength, for its perseverance, and end up rewarding him by turning him into a dragon. Just last week, uh, while me and Abby were reviewing chapter 198, we mentioned that Oda has this thing where he'll do a big reveal. Doesn't necessarily have to be big, he'll do a reveal. And we as fans will go, oh my days, I can't believe that. I didn't see that coming. But then when you look back at all the clues that are placed there, you realise that he made it obvious for us to know, or obvious for us to put it together without making it obvious. And again, the theory on Kaido that I'm about to speak on is not confirmed, but I feel like there's a lot of clues there that will lead us to this point of when everything is confirmed, we're going to look back on 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 that revelation and be like, oh, how did we not see it coming? There's so many clues that make it so painstakingly obvious. Earlier, I spoke about the, the school of koi fish. If you set your mind back to chapter 910, when Luffy and Cole are about to step foot into Wano, they come across an upstream waterfall. And the only way they managed to get up there was by the help of koi fish. I feel like that was a hint from Oda letting us know what he was planning to show us about the character that currently holds that country hostage. And if you set your mind back to when we first introduced the Kaido, when he was on top of the Sky Island, ready to leap um, to commit suicide. And then during that chapter, we were told about all the different attempts on his life. The times, the amount of times that they tried to hang him and the chain snapped. The amount of times that they tried to put the uh, galatine on his neck and it shattered. So we can look at all those incidents as a source of strength. But when I first read those chapters, the first thing that came into mind is that Kaido is very, very lucky or that he had a devil fruit that was related to luck. And within Japanese culture, koi fish are a symbol of good fortune and luck. So when we were first introduced to Kaido, we got to see him in his fall. We saw the horns on his head, the long whiskers, and the scales on his chest that could have been confused for tattoos. 
Now, my theory on Kaido is that he actually has four different forms. And the form that we are used to seeing him in is not his actual original form. So we have the original form of Kaido that we don't know what it is because we haven't seen it. We don't know what it looks like. Um, we have his first zone fruit form and we haven't seen that either, which would be um, something close to a koi fish. And the reason why we haven't seen him in koi fish form is because we had no reason to. The koi fish form is probably most useful um, in sea. And then we have his second zone fruit um, form, which will be the dragon, which we often have seen him use whilst in the air. And then we have his final form, which I believe to be a hybrid of all three of his other forms. So a hybrid of his human form, a hybrid of his um, of his fish form, and a hybrid of his dragon form that allow him to be the strongest uh, creature on land. And this is why when we were first introduced to Kaido, it was said to be that he was the strongest creature in sea, land, or air. And I believe individually, all of his non-human form make him the strongest creature in all those different environments. One thing that I'm yet to answer is that how is Kaido able to do this? We've come across multiple mythical creatures, um, multiple um, characters with um, zone devil fruits that aren't able to transform to multiple um, animals. So for me, there could only be two answers for this. One being that it's a very special devil fruit and this devil fruit in particular allows you to transform into more than one mythical um, um, creature or more than one um, animal. My other answer would be that he has awakened his own devil fruit, which allows him to evolve or allows him to become different animals. Um, so similar to how Magic Up in Pokemon transforms to Gyarados, Kaido awakening his devil fruit allows him to evolve into a dragon. And part of the awakening also allows him to merge all these different forms into one, becoming the Kaido that we see on a regular basis.